What if you could publish your blog and have it automatically posted to your social media accounts? Well, in HubSpot, you can. Let's show you how in this video. Welcome to HubSpot Hacks, where we help you get more out of HubSpot. With the social integrations in the HubSpot platform, you can make it possible to publish a blog and then have it automatically promoted on any of your connected accounts in HubSpot. Now there's a few things to keep in mind when you're setting this up, so let's dive in and take a look. First of all, you're gonna find the information you're looking for in the settings, and over on the left-hand side, you're going to marketing and social. Now, if you don't have your social accounts connected to HubSpot, you wanna go ahead and connect them here. We'll show you how to really work the social posting in another video, but for the purposes of this video, I wanna show you how to integrate it with your blog. So you need to have your blog set up in HubSpot. So if you have your blog set up on an external site and you're just using HubSpot for other things, this isn't going to work for you. You also need to have Marketing Pro or Enterprise for this to work as well. So I've got my Facebook, I've got Instagram. Um, really the ones that we wanna promote here are going to be Facebook and Twitter and LinkedIn actually. So what happens is I can actually tell it to auto publish on, on social media once the blog publishes. So what this looks like is once I've got it set up, if I go to a blog, and I'm gonna open this one here. This is just a test blog for this video. And if I look at publishing options, here you'll see that we actually have social publishing and it's already been published. So I'm gonna go back to a test blog and we're going to clone this and we're gonna call this test and we'll see what this looks like from day one. So now that I've got a test here, we're going to go into publishing options and you'll see that we've got social publishing right here. And the reason that shows up is because in our settings, again, back under settings, marketing, social, we've got the auto publish turned on. So if this isn't turned on, you'll see that we've got a blog that says choose the blog here. And in HubSpot, you can have multiple blogs, keep that in mind. So we only have one set up in our portal. So you'll see that when I select it here. So choose the blogs you'd like to auto publish to. So if I said I want to auto publish to my Twitter account, because I've actually hooked up my Twitter account to HubSpot in addition to our company, I can say every time we publish new content on this blog, I want to go ahead and publish that. And then we're going to submit. Okay, so now you can see that every time I publish a blog, Ali Schwanke's Twitter account will be an option when we actually go to publish the post. So one little thing before you actually jump out of here. So just because the social auto publishing is turned on doesn't mean that it's the best experience. So keep in mind that social needs to be, well, social. And if we just publish the way it is, it's gonna go and pull the title of the blog and then publish that on social. So to adjust that, what you want to do is you wanna click on preview. And here you're going to see what it's going to look like when this blog automatically publishes whether you hit publish now or schedule it in the future, this is what it's going to look like. So again, I named this test. And so what I don't want to happen is this is going to be the title of the article. So the title of the article is still whatever it's gonna be. This is what would be called a preview link. But above, I probably wanna have something that actually teases out the content more effectively. So if I said, um, this blog's about HubSpot sequences, so. Perfect. So if you do, if you are interested in HubSpot sequences, we do have another video, but for the purposes of this, I'm just showing you how social works. So you can see that when it publishes is dependent on the blog publishing. And again, it's going to show me Twitter. It's going to show me LinkedIn. And on LinkedIn, I can actually adjust the title if I want to. So while you might be writing a blog to promote it for, let's say SEO purposes, you've got a keyword in there. When it gets to social media, you might choose to make it a little more playful. Or as I tell some folks, you wanna get that kind of sexy clickbait title on the LinkedIn side, whereas Google wants to be very straightforward and give exactly what the user is looking for in their search. So I might actually call this, um, is your team using this HubSpot superpower? Because the um, picture of the HubSpot, um, kind of Superman here does call that out. And then I can actually put up here, um, sequences with great power comes great responsibility, learn how to use wisely. All right, so you get the idea. So if this is the thing that I want to use to promote it, again, I did not end up adjusting this one here. I could click on save. And I've got three posts. It tells me they'll be published 15 minutes-ish after the blog publishes. So right now I've got those loaded and they will publish when I click on publish. We're not gonna do that here because this is a sample. But that's how to do it. Again, back to the social here, you're gonna see that come up. Um, you're gonna have to select your blog. Once you do, in the publishing area, in this last piece is where you're gonna preview them and then adjust them. So keep in mind, you have to preview before you can edit. Now what that looks like when it publishes, it'll come across just like this. 
And so here we've got an example of what was posted for us over a month ago. And you'll see that we've got the title, we've got the blog, you'll know it's from HubSpot, so we've got the short HubSpot URL. But then again, to your followers, it looks like a great piece of content to dive into and learn a little bit more. So that's it. For more tips, tricks, and how-tos, hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you next week.